Okay, well, I'll start. Go, go! <laughs> For like the most, why are y'all going the same way? Bad, bad, I'm going the opposite way. stores today, Salvi Charmy, Valley Village, Ventilees, 10 minutes on the clock in each thrift store, and we're gonna see if we can create outfits. I don't know what the strategy really is gonna be. It's just gonna be, yeah. it is what it is. We got my friends, Haley and Rachel. Check out their videos, it's gonna be linked down below, but let's just get started, because this is gonna be an interesting time. We don't really know what to expect, so <laughs> enjoy. Stressed? A little bit. Stressing. Chill, cool as a cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> Not a proud moment, but somehow my camera was not recording for the whole thrifting portion of this first thrift store, but I promise you guys it gets better. We had a little bit of an interference, a little bit of a delay, that is why, but it's totally fine. We're moving on and there's some good content coming your way, so just stay tuned and enjoy this lovely footage in the meantime. We are done. Take a look at the cards. That, that's looking pretty cool. Pretty thick. She's thick. I did the most organizing I've ever done in my life. It was that Marie Kondo episode last night that got me inspired. Sports shirts, joy. pants, everything's sparkly. <laughs> So I think I'm doing pretty well for store number one. These pants are from the little boy section. Excuse that. Very cool. They're like colored stitching. And then I just paired it with a basic tank. I'm wearing sports for all, so please excuse that. I didn't really think this one through. The haul is coming. And Rachel is just living the minimalist dream. <laughs> I only found two things that's worth going today. And we're just getting started. It's all good. Stop number two. We are dedicated Canadian thrifters out here in this lovely Canadian weather for you guys today. <laughs> I am sweating. It is so hot to shop for fall when it's you're like- It's too hot in Toronto. 30 fall. degrees. Gotta make sure the wheels work good. Are you right? Okay, well, right. Go, go! <laughs> I'm going this way. I want to find accessories in this one because I didn't really find any in the last. But honestly, look at me. I'm already getting sidetracked, so I'm probably going to end up with a million things again that I don't need. So that's where we're at right now. I've seen two of these. Maybe it's a sign that I need to get one. Oh my god, guys. This t shirt section is huge. I could literally spend like half an hour alone in this section. I officially wasted over half my time and now I'm actually gonna look for what I intended to look for. Not seeing the purses. Ooh, I really want a pair of leather pants actually. Yeah. There she goes. This was gonna be my goal to just check the go back racks and then look for accessories, but I'm probably down to like two minutes now, so let's give this rack a little look. That was a flop. <laughs> Here are the purses. Wow. Really? Oh. <laughs> I just got to the purses. Sneak peek. Haley's fine. My card again somehow. Stop number three. We have arrived at our last destination, our last 10 minutes of thrifting for the day bittersweet because honestly I could literally do this forever. I'm like in my my paradise right here, but you already know the drill. I don't even know what my goal is here, guys. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So this is just like good vibes, you know? It's light, it's bright. Okay, I'm gonna actually try and stick to that whole go back rack method and bucket hat. I really want to know all the time. Know what I'm saying? Okay, wait, do we kind of love this? 
aesthetic. The hats are actually like organized by style, which is so freaking nice. So thank you to Liz for that. You're joking. <laughs> oh, I love that color. That's where I took off to. 30 seconds. Wait, wait, I found a hidden jackpot. That's awesome. <laughs> Does that work? Where the hole is too? Yeah, someone just like did the thrifting for me. All right, so I got a lot of blue and yellow at this thrift store, but I got some good pieces for only 10 minutes. I don't go to Tilly's, so like this is a new spot for me, so I'm not like familiar with the location at all, but I'm gonna try on a couple pieces, why not? Oh my God, look at this polo queen. Oh, when you just find something, you the just go. <laughs> okay. Can you see it? No, You're I can't see it. You're too low to work anyways, but for the fit. I love. All right, last thrift store done. Now we're gonna head home and haul this stuff for you guys. Maybe make some outfits, look a little cuter than I'm looking right now. Stay tuned. <laughs> Secure the bags. That's what the kids are saying these days. All right guys, so I am back home. It's a couple days later now. I'm just gonna get into it. Let me just, I'm gonna try something new because I got so much stuff. It's kind of, kind of disgusting. So it was 30 minutes. I kind of didn't think it would go so well. Honestly, it's a challenge. You never really know what you're gonna get, but as I go through each store, I'm just gonna show you guys the items and then I'm gonna talk about what my my strategy was, obviously, Salvation Army was first. Strategy in Salvation Army was, you know, just kind of wing it. Just kind of go for things, grab, grab, grab. Our plan was to organize stuff after. It wasn't like grab everything and then check out blindfoldedly, Sandra Bullock style. We actually like didn't want to waste our money, so we had like a little bit of picking over time at the end. But yeah, Salvation Army, they literally gave me a garbage bag because I had so much stuff. And I surprisingly had so much good luck. You guys will see here. I got a lot of like more casual tops. I literally got like everything. I don't really know how this happened and I'm so sorry that the footage got deleted because you guys are probably gonna think that I skipped the system, but I definitely didn't. <laughs> you can see it in Haley's video. But I wanted to find pants, so I hit up the little boys section. I wanted to find like trendy things, which I definitely found. And I was kind of going for like a cool, trendy vibe with this one so I hit up little boys I hit up women's blazers and tanks and stuff like that and that's pretty much how I cleaned up and your girl spent hundred and twenty five dollars so doing well I guess next up was Valley Village where the total spend was sixty dollars doll hairs dollars this Valley Village was freaking huge definitely did not have time to go through the whole thing but since I didn't hit up the men's section in the first one, I decided that was gonna be my my destination for the second thrift store. So time went by a lot quicker in this one. I also tried to look for accessories, but like that just didn't happen. So I picked up a lot of good men's stuff, I feel like here, which I personally love to live in in the winter. So good crew necks, long sleeves, random kind of logo, Tommy-ish stuff. They had a ton of those good brand names. So I was very, very happy with that. And then I randomly found this really, bomb pair of orange pants that were hiding in the woman's section when I was just kind of like looking through at the end. So I did okay at Valley Village. It is kind of tricky because when you're just like picking things up, I will say you don't have time to look for stains or for the price of things. So I just kind of gave up at the end and I was like, these things are good. I don't really, I just want them. So I didn't really examine them. And the orange pants unfortunately have a nice stain on the booty, but it's kind of like a, it's not like a colored stain, I'm hoping I can get them out, but 60 bucks for that few items is a lot of money, so definitely if I was like doing a normal thrifting trip, I would have taken more time to like think what was actually worth it, but again, I'm, I'm really happy with all of it, so can I complain? Not really. Lastly, we stopped at Tilly's, which I think I spent around like 50 bucks there. It was in cash, so I don't have those records on me, but I don't usually go to Tilly's just because the closest one to me is like 
35 minutes away from my house, which is a little bit of an inconvenient situation. So I went in there and again, it's not a familiar thrift store to me. I was like running here, there, all over the place, trying to figure it out, get my bearings straight. But I actually was like blessed by a thrifting, thrifting angel. And when I tell you guys this story, you're not even gonna believe it. You guys saw it in the footage where I found like a couple of pairs of Levi's 501s, the amazing puffer jacket, and the yellow t-shirt like sitting on the end cap. And to be honest, I hadn't really found much at that point. And I think it was down to like two minutes left on the clock. So I was like, oh my God, this is the perfect ideal situation. I scooped those things up and your girl was content. She was good to go because clearly I had already spent almost 200, over $200. So I was just kind of looking to grab some things at Tilly's that could like complete looks that I had in mind. Turns out I posted a photo on my Instagram story of that blue jacket and one of my followers messaged me and was like, oh my God, I almost picked that up. And I was like, did you leave that magical pile of stuff there at Tilly's? And she did, which is like crazy to me. So big shout out to her for actually helping me out with this challenge unintentionally. Promise Haley, I did not pay her to do that, but it was a huge help because whenever you find someone's like go back stash, just that they put on like the end cap of a rack, that is like the key if you were in a rush thrifting. This was a ton of fun. I highly recommend you guys go out and try it for yourselves. I think there was a lot of luck involved and just the more you thrift, I think the better you get at it and the more that you go to stores, the better luck you'll have there. Let me know how you guys think I did. I definitely went off. Clearly, I think Haley's approach was just to like get more outfits, but um, yeah, I'm excited to watch her video because she is a little bit more of a modest thrifter than I am, that's for sure. But either way, it was still tons and tons of fun. Let me know what else you guys wanna see me do, what other kind of thrift challenges and stuff like that because I like switching it up here on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you on my next video. Mwah! Ta-ta! Okay, bye.